Hello, man. For the one of the only review gamers, right? This video is gonna be a little bit up than what it usually is. So anyway, I'm gonna do a video on what movies I have. So you know, if you want a particular more review, let me know in the comment section. The comment section is down below. These are the movies I have collected through for the past, well, since last December. So right here we have a movie. It's Ant Man. Has cast members such as Paul Rudd and. This is a really good movie. So there's the front, there's the back, and then let's just open this up, and then there's the. So then on my. Then I have a Blu ray here, which is Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. There's the front, there's the back, and then there's the Blu ray disc right there. Um, and then here is a double feature I have. It's actually considered as Daddy Day double feature, I call it. But it has Daddy Day Care and Daddy Day Camp. So there's the front, and then there's the back. So this is actually not one of my best ones in my collection. None of these really are. Oh, this one's one of my favorite Marvel movies. Besides, I have another one in here that I. This one, out of my Marvel clutch I have so far, this one has probably been my top favorite one so far. This is my number one favorite Marvel movie. I've seen Captain America Civil War. It was okay, it wasn't the best one, but I think that one started like phase three. So there's that one. I think I'll show you the back. And then I need to show you just the front of it. And then there's that. So that is. First one was good. The second one was okay. It wasn't the best, but what can you do? Next one we have here is actually a brand new DVD feature that's never even been opened yet. This is actually by Warner Brothers and Orin Pictures. It's Max 2 White House Hero. And there's the front and then there's the back. It includes the slip cover. And this is the only one in my collection that includes the slip cover right now. Nope. So right here we have from Nickelodeon, Paw Patrol, Pup Save Christmas. It's actually came in a box set with an ornament. So there's the front, there's the back, and then there's the lame disc art. And um, and next we have a Golden Christmas, the second tale. Like I said, I had it since December, and it's not even been opened. So. There's the front, there's the back, and there's the spine. I imagine, I don't think, I don't think you get this one until later this year, but I got it near Christmas time, and I just, for some reason, I guess I no, never even opened it. It's kind of weird. Usually I open my DVDs as soon as I get them. Uh, it has like a Walmart's tag on it. That's where I get all my DVDs from, most of them anyway, except for four of them. Next we have it is a DVD plus a digital HD copy of Nine Lies and it's a really good movie. It's not the best one in this kind of category of movies. Um, I actually have to say that Disney does a little bit of a better job than, the, the, um, than what they did on this one. It was still a good movie because I have seen the um, Shaggy Doll series which I have. That was really good. This one actually just represents that one, but it's just in a cat form, but except for he has to do something outrageous to be able to turn back into human, like the doll one, he has he got actually just to come at night he just transform back into human during the day he transformed into a dog. But that this is a completely different storyline. Still a good movie. Um, there's actually someone in this movie that I was not really recognizing and so I watched it for like a second time. There's Talking Tom the Cat is actually in this movie, guys, so that is interesting. This one's actually one of my favorite movies of all time. It's actually by Pure Flex Presents, and it's also by Universal. It's God's Not Dead 2. I, mean, I forgot to show you that. It's a discard on this one. That is really cool. I like the way that they did the Paul prints on that one. It's really cool. I like it a lot. And I have a Zootopia sticker on here for some crazy reason. So now let's get back to my favorite one, Sky's Not Dead 2. I just matched my favorite one by Universal. So, like I said, there's the front, 
there was a bag. If you guys like religious movies, this is like one of my recommendations. Like my, one of my recommendations for you guys. And just to show you, and there's the discourage. That's plain usual um, universe for me. This one is not one of my favorites. It's by Airbud Entertainment. It's still a really good movie, without a doubt. I just want to say thank you for Airbud for, for returning to make some more movies. These are movies that are like once. These things I call classes to Airbuds. Like The Wizard of Oz, I still call that a classic. Um, some of them have to be really popular to be a classic. Like this one I don't consider as a classic. But this one I do consider as a classic even though it's a newer style DVD release. Um, and just to give you a vibe of the movie, it's actually about a dog that, um, his name's Russell. And he wanted, always wanted to come, he always wanted a family. And, well, he searched high and low. Well, and every family that came and by that warned him just let them at the shop. Well, then he was getting too old. So, one of the, so the main manager was just wanted to give him what? But however, one of the workers adopted him, but he didn't know that he was been adopted by one of the workers there. So he kind of ran away, and somebody he found the Ferraro family, and then he got, he got, in, and then there was a monkey that lived at the Ferraro Wrestling Studios, like, when they done, the, like, the wrestling matches. This is, like, a, one of those kind of movies, and I don't know if you guys be able to see the rain in the background. He has, like, the signature movie grabs her hair and then he gets on the back there and he, then most of the time they usually tap out. He's it's really good. So and then the interesting part about his trainer is a monkey. And you see there there's the monkey, there's the dog. Actually this is not the original name of the movie. The original name of the movie was actually called WrestleMania. It was not called Russell Madness until later. And this that is true, the strongest tag team is family. And this one has a five star movie I have in my collection. It's by Disney. So thank you again, Disney, for making outrageous movies. This was actually one of my favorites. I actually have them in, in a Disney characters too, both of these. I think I also have a power disc pack of these. So that has um Judy Hopp and Nick Wilder on the front of the DVD kit right there. And there's the back. It was really cool. I love this movie. Um, basically, if you ever want to know what animals do, this was like a high on the main movie. I love this movie. Even though it's animated, most of my movies are actually live action anymore. But I love animations. Like, you know, it's not one of my movies. I've only done one animation movie so far, so this is actually my second one. I have more animation movies down here, but this is like one of my recommendations. I love Zootopia. Come on, Disney, make a Zootopia Part Two. We're making, we're getting a Wreck-It Ralph Two, which is Ralph Rest the Internet, and then we're getting a um, a Frozen Two. This one is the Andrew Garfield of this movie. Um, it's not. I I think Tony McIntyre did a better job on this franchise. It's called The Amazing Spider-Man, but I think. Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 were like a little bit better. Well, not 3. This one tops 3. All the movies I have seen so far, I think Spider-Man would be, be like Spider-Man 1, and then Spider-Man 2 and Tobey McIntyre. Then it would be Andrew Garfield's version of Spider-Man 1 and 2, and now I have to say it would be Spider-Man 3. That's a weird way to... Well, that's because Spider-Man 3 wasn't really that good of a movie, but I love that I've done the um, front there. Although... I kind of wish they did not put the Amazing Spider-Man on the middle of his chest there. They could have like done it a little bit down here or a little bit on the top. Just crush him down a little bit some. But that is still really cool. But what can you say? Like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 actually has it up here. Which I kind of prefer when they're up the top. I don't know. What's my look? It's like it's at the top. At the top. At the top. At the top, somewhere at the top, at the top, at the top. And another one I have is at the top. So this one's, um, as you see, we can see Spider-Man uh, Mask there, which is Peter Parker. So, 
Morgan movie. I'll show you this card. I think I forgot to show you this card. I'll show you the this card, all the ones that's open. That's what we have here is Christopher Plummer, Planet and Blizzard. This is a really good movie. It's a highly recommend um, Christmas classic. Well, not really a Christmas classic, but it's still a really good Christmas movie. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer will have to be my favorite one of the. Um, this is actually a Santa's Reindeer, Blizzard. I also have Prancer, but I don't know if I have that one. I need to really get that one. This is one really good movie. And there's no discard. It's just a ring. This is Blizzard's a two sided disc. I think so. Yeah, one side's full screen, one side's half screen. Let's have try watching full screen if I remember what side it was. Um, Tyler Perry. Classic comedy. Um, then your Lions game for making these movies. Um, make another Medea movie. I think they're actually making a boo to Medea Halloween. Um, Tyler Perry. Um, they are so about these Medea films. By the way, get the one that say movie. Get the one that say play. I don't like them. They're really boring. They don't really represent Medea like he does for the Medea's the movies. So right here we have Medea's Christmas the movie. There's also a Medea's Christmas the play, but I don't, I, they don't have that one for the movie version of them. Um, this is a really comedy movie, and Tyler Perry does a really, really good job of playing from Medea as to as well as Joe, I think is his name, and there's someone else. Ellen? I don't remember. But he had three roles in this movie. It's still a really good movie. This one has Ben Stiller and Robin Williams. It's not in Museum 3. I had this movie again before. WrestleMania. Wrestle Madness. Um, not in Museum 3. It had to be like one of the worst ones of the franchise. The, not in Museum 1 would probably be the best one. Then I'll say not in Museum 2. Then Museum 3. I think this one would have made it really good if they didn't have her in the movie. I think she actually kind of ruined the movie a little bit, but I love the Night Museum franchise. When I first saw the second one, when I first saw the first one, the bio and everything, I thought it was gonna be more of a history kind of films. I don't like history. Um, I hate it in school anyway. But this is actually a really good movie, and Ronald Williams did a really good job at playing the role of Teddy Roosevelt, the president. That's when we have is a movie that is actually from the studio that bought us Jungle Book. If you guys see my earlier videos in the past, I made a video about the Jungle Book, but here we go again. And so, this is a class right here. It's not the new one is not a classic, but there's a one I will call a class. This one's actually Peace Dragon. I love these movies. This is a really good movie. I this is a classic right here, guys. And it's a big one DVD and Blu-ray, guys. Um, I remember this one any, any day, anywhere, except for I have a Transformers thing in here. I don't know why. So there's Peace Dragon. This is a really good movie. And it's about when well, a 10-year-old boy just turns up out of nowhere. He lives with a, with a green giant called Pete. Well, Elliot is his name. And, well, somebody claimed that he saw that dragon before. But every time they walk in the forest, he turns invisible, nobody knows he's there until one day Elliot is showed on Pete. I meant Pete showed Elliot, I think. It was the other one way around. Just a really good movie. How recommend this one? I actually seen this one during Finding Dory. That was another good movie, but I don't have Finding Dory as you guys can also tell that's actually my end of my Disney collection. Well I have one more Disney collection, but it's not Finding Dory, sorry about that guys. This one is my all-time favorite Disney movie of all time. Let me just get that one later. Let me just put this on another. Here we have my really cool Transformer DVD case. Just, just a really cool Transformers DVD case. And you see here, this thing, it is so humongous large. When it's forwarded it down, it's about regular size of the standard DVD case. When, you, when this thing is fully full, this thing is about a little bit less than two DVD cases stacked up. 
almost, but the size of two DVD cases stacked up. About that, probably about right there would be the DVD case, and then it'd be a little bit smaller than that. But it's still a really great piece in my collection. I don't even know. I got this one out actually at Walgreens. It's supposed to be a Target exclusive, but I don't think this is. I think it's out of print now. It's actually really. I think I actually kind of surprised I actually got this movie at Walgreens. It had like five bucks, I think. Still ain't bad. Owl and the Chipmunks classic. Um, Christmas edition. This is more for Christmas. And these ones, I was start watching this one around November. Uh, I watched it throughout the year. I have it on the thing. I so I can know I'm trying to watch it. I don't know. It's a really good movie. I love Albans does a good job. Theo and Simon does a really good job. I love the series that Star Street on Nickelodeon that's called Alvin and the Chipmunks. But this is Alvin and the Chipmunks. If you guys have seen it, everyone, which I have seen Alvin 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and my order of recommendations I've seen it, I will have to, have to say watch 4, 1, 3, and 2. Or is it four, three, one, two? I don't know, but four has to be four to the movies I've seen. Alvin, I think, I will hope, I hope they make a part five thoughts. Come on, make a part five. So, I guess we have my favorite Disney movie of all time Disney's Descendants, starring Dove Cameron, Sophia Carson, Cameron Boyce, and Boo Boo Stewart. Also, for Kenny Take a Director and Slash Car from High School Musical. It is one of my favorite movies. Um, it's what it's about. It's about this king, this, this guy who became king. His, the real actor plays him. I should have his name, Mitchell Hope, and he became king. He got a coronation and become king. And his first proclamation was to have the kids from the outlaws have a chance to live in Ordon, which he got. He got himself elected. Well, the Beast and Belle, Belle and the Beast from the Beauty and the Beast franchise. Um, got himself elected as king of the United States of Oregon instead of going on a honeymoon. And then they had a son named Ben. He came king. His first pro official proclamation was to have four of the children from the Alawas be given a chance to live on Oregon, which was um, son of Cruel Deville, son of Jafar, daughter of the Evil Queen, and daughter of Maleficent. And it's a really good movie. I love the bonus features such as the backstage footage, the bloopers, hashtag mail, and that's all of it. Stuff like a mini clip from the Descendants of the World. I love that shorts. I love it. I've seen them all. I've seen them all on YouTube. I've seen them all on TV. I love that series. Um, I have a... I got this one from actually the Disney Movie Club. I rebought it. And I also came with this... Um... Bracelet kit. With, it has the... Icons of them all. It has Mel, Carlos, Jay, and Carlos. I know all the real names. The one who plays Mel is Dove Cameron. Sophia Carson plays Evie. Cameron Boyce plays Carlos. And Boo Boo Stewart plays Jay. And Mitchell Hope plays Ben. So it's one of my favorite movies. And they're not bad. They're just born that way. And we get to see a little, little bit of the villains in the back there. We get to see um, Evil Queen, Maleficent, Jafar, and Quill of the Ville. Then we get to see Carlos right there. And then we get to see um, Audrey, Ben, Mel, and Evie. And then Ben and Mel. And you see, I actually fall in love with the end of the movie. It's a really good movie. I love that movie. I, when I first got this movie on July 21st, 31st, August 1st, 2015, I watched it every day. I would literally take it out of the case, set it down, pop it in, and pop it in again. Every day. Every day I listen to the soundtrack and all, uh, no, I need to really get that soundtrack. I need to get the books. How all the books and the soundtrack. I was like obsessed with this movie at the time. So up next we have my favorite TV series, My Little Pony: Friendship with Magic. This is a spin-off DVD version of it. 
It's part of the Crystal Empire collection, My Little Pony. They were doing for a little time there. Um, Shot Factor made this DVD like they did another one I have right here. It's My Little Pony, Friendship and Magic, Adventures in the Crystal Empire. It includes these episodes, The Crystal Empire Part 1, The Crystal Empire Part 2, The Sonic Rain Boom, Luna Escape, and It's About Time. I love these movies to show. I can't wait for the new movie that's actually coming out on October 6, 2017. It's called My Little Pony in the Movie. I've seen every Question Girls movie. I've seen My Little Pony, Question Girls. My Little Pony, Question Girls, Rainbow Rots. My Little Pony, Question Girls, Rainbow, Rain, Friendship Games. And then My Little Pony, Question Girls, Friend, Legend of Ever. I love this movies. I love this movie. I love it. And it also led to getting the complete third season of My Little Pony, Friendship of Magic, Season 3. I guess this is going to be actually one of my favorite episodes actually on this too. The final episode of Magical, Magical Mystery Cruise is one of my favorite episodes out of the entire Marvel Pony franchise. I'm not going to get this season 4. I want to get season 4 next. I love season 4. Season 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 are my all time favorite seasons. Of course I like season 1 and I like season 2 because I started watching on season 1 episode 1. I actually didn't start watching Marvel Pony until season 6. Well, episode 25, I watched the last two parts, and, well, after that, I started recording them all, I started recording them, watching them, then I eventually, I, let, I watched season one, and, well, then I got the DVD of it, got two DVDs of it, and then one thing led to another, I got a pony, and then another thing led to another, and, you know, guys, I got, uh, <laughs> got two apps on here. Actually, one of them is more of an app, one of them is more of a wallpaper kind of app, but still. Um, I want to show you guys a model of um, another video on the, on what I have, my little pony, which these are actually going to be featured in it. Actually, I want to release two videos today, probably for the lightness. So keep that in mind. I want to record the Model Pony in duty. I have my Model Pony collection. So there we have on my lock screen is Rainbow Dash and the Cluster Girls form. And then there is Rainbow Dash right there. And then I have an app of wallpapers. For Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is one of my favorite ponies, actually. So, you get to have all kinds of, um, um, wallpapers. And then, I have a full length called My Little Pony Puzzle Party game. Right? on. And the app's not working today, but I have it on here. I can show you guys a screenshot. I should go in the game. If I get my ass my photos. Let's see if I can find my pictures in here. It's on here. I love this game. Actually, I took a screenshot of the game. I don't remember how I did it. Nothing we're gonna die. Try to record a video, nothing's actually working. So, this is actually my third time trying to record this video. And this is gonna be my last time. This thing don't work, and I wanna upload it. So, see you guys on the next time. So, remember, if you guys like these videos, please hit that like button. It really does help a lot. If you wanna see a particular movie review, even if it's for my little porn seasons, a particular episode, let me know in the comment section, comment section down below. Actually, I probably won't do more reviews. I probably do an update video on my little pony collection. I'm not really getting my reviews. I want to start watching some reviews, see, and take it out of that way. So, there is the entire movie collection I have. Well, it's not the entire movie collection, so I got this and this. So, there's my entire movie collection. Probably about 21 right, right here. So, um, actually, after I, while this guy is uploading, I've been watching My Little Pony Season 7 and my DVD. And like I said, 
I don't want to show you guys the entire disc art. Look at that. There's disc art. That, I love that disc art for this one. Um, anything but Disney only does that. I'm trying to hurry up so you then Alvin Peace Dragon Night Museum 3 Can't wait to send it to comes out July 21st at 8 on Disney Channel, Disney SD, ABC, and Freeform. Tyler Perry's Medea's Christmas, the movie. Blizzard. Part three, this one. Nine Lives. Paw Patrol Pup Save Christmas. The Amazing Spider Man. I love that disc art. And there's a coin in here, but it's fired right now. Yep, it's fired. Russell Madness. Probably show you that one. Ant Man. Daddy Day Care, Daddy Day Camp. Mask 2. Born Christmas. Guys out dead too. Zootopia. And Star Wars. And Transformers. And this one's actually part of their Rainbow Power Collection. And then their season three disc one, which has points as Applejack, Twilight Sparkle, and Rainbow Dash. I love this disc. One of my favorite discs in the collection is the fact that it has Twilight Sparkle, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash. The main three. I like. Season 2 has Rarity, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie. Um, this one has the Crystal Empire Part 1 and the Crystal Empire Part 2. Too many Pinkie Pies, One Bad Apple, Magic Duel, Simplest and Ponyville, Wonder Bulls Academy. And this 2 has Just for Psychics, Apple from Reunion, Spike at Your Service, Keep Calm and Flutter On, Games Pony Play, and Magical Mystery Cure. And this too also includes the bonus features as seen the San Diego Comic Con 2013 panel, San Lawns, and a printable equestria map. So there you guys have it. There's my complete look at my movie collection, which I also have a mail man to go with my movie collection. Let me just grab it for you guys right here. This is actually one of my favorite man is right here. I don't know if you, yeah, if you guys can see it. And it says misunderstood. So you guys see you later on the next episode of review gamer this is actually gonna be a 30 minute video so one reason i like my opponent so much they teach you the power of friendship i like rainbow dash twilight sparkle i like the fact that she actually turned into a princess twilight sparkle and then she's I'm watching this and she's also the princess of friendship then pinkie pie is okay spike um my main three opponent favorite opponents would have to be Rainbow Dash, well, Applejack first, then Rainbow Dash, then Princess Twilight Sparkle. I love Applejack. Um, her element is honesty. Twilight is magic. Rainbow Dash is loyalty. Pinkie Pie is laughter. I don't remember what Fluttershy was. And Rarity was generosity. And Twilight Sparkle is magic. So you guys have, there's my quick look at my movie collection which I mean a mess right there but I won't get like this up later on I want to actually watch my little pony while this is uploading onto YouTube um 
Uh, actually, I'm um, season seven. I love season seven. It's actually would be my top season so far. Season three, season six, and season seven would be my top favorites, especially season seven. I think season seven might be a little bit more better than season three, but here we go.